Gibson. And I'm Yasser Lester, and welcome to the trailer, where we dissect movie trailers, we talk to some of your favorite stars, and we have tons of giveaways. That's right. Thanks for coming back. I, I didn't know if you were coming back. back. You were on a comedy tour. I was on a comedy tour, just bringing these LOLs, these ha-has, these giggles, the these Rolf chuckles. Rolfing? R ruffles. Ruffles. Ruffles around the nation. You were doing it all. I was... Literally rolling on the floor, laughing across the country. It's actually a good thing you were doing that because the Fault in Our Stars was doing the exact opposite of that. They were just it was just slaying people like tears down the face. Everyone was ugly crying. Oh, uh, you? Yeah, I was doing the um, cry where I cry so hard that I create a lot of snot and it goes right into my mouth. And I don't care because I'm just so busy. I'm just like... <laughs> Like it's one of those and it just drips in. That is, I'm actually like getting, like my gag reflex. No, you get it. There was a girl behind me, a 13 uh -huh. year old girl, and she was crying so loud. And she goes, she goes, it's not fair. And I was like, sister, wait, it's going to keep getting not unfair. High school. Wait till you get yeah, to high school. It gets way worse. It gets, and then it gets better when you're an adult and you can eat ice cream whenever you want. Yeah, or the thing I do is I just buy cereal randomly, whatever cereal I want. Because you can. And I just Because you're it. an adult. Yeah. Um, you, um, I did see it at the, so the simulcast. Oh, you yeah. did the simulcast. Nice. I did. It was in, um, in uh, Regal's Hollywood 24 in Atlanta. Nice hometown. Yeah, it was uh, Shailene. Okay. Um, what's his name came? The guy who's uh, named like a German scientist. What, uh, Argus? I never remember his name. What's Ansel Elgort. Ansel Elgort of the realm of Change your name Hardington. to Paul You know what I mean? No, no. It's too hard. Ansel Elgort? What's up, dude? My name's Ansel Elgort. I'm here for the party. Mm -mm, I don't like I it. I brought chips, dude. My name's Ansel. I don't like it. A director was there. They Josh were Boone. all They were all watching the movie with yeah. everyone, and they did a Q&A afterwards that they nice. then beamed up and then sent back down to other Regal Cinemas. Tight. Well, um... I didn't get a chance to see it clearly, but you can come over to my place and we'll just pull it up on YouTube. Oh, no, that's it, okay. We're going to put it on YouTube and I'll just watch it. We'll do the whole Q&A on YouTube. Yeah, no, I know. That's what I'm saying. But you can come to my place and watch it and I'll get frozen pizzas and I'll like light candles and like the stuff I do for everyone else. Who's but everyone be, else? You know, just like dates or whatever, like a yeah. girl I, you I'm need, into. Or... This is how you're dating, huh? Yeah. We should talk about this after the no, show pretty, because yeah. I feel like it's not the it's most good. impressive way pretty to do it. Good, you know yeah. who else has problems dating? Who? Um, Adam Newman, our resident college kid. Oh. Who we sent to go talk to uh, Channing Tatum. Yes. And Jonah Hill. The stars of 22 Jump Street. Let's take a look at what the advice they had to give to him. Hey guys, I'm, I'm Adam Newman. Um, I'm actually a college student myself. I see um, you double strapping. Yeah, this is that's so that's called double strapping. Yeah, you're kind of double, 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 double breasted sweatering yeah. right now. The thing is, I'm just bad with girls at my school, and I felt like maybe since you guys are big, you know, movie stars and stuff, you could help me out. Say I got a girl, a crush on a girl, like her name is Michaela, she's in my econ class. Just and let's like, say that, that it's, <laughs> let's just say for like example, let's just say the most specific all, name like, that like yeah. almost no one it's has. Like, say I've never met her, but I got mutual friends and I can get her number. Like what's a thing I could text to her? Oh, don't do that. If I already did, what would have been like a cool thing if I did already? Probably not what you already did. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking, just do just the say opposite sorry. of that. Just <laughs> like a text or sorry. Right, well, do you know like a good like icebreaker joke I can maybe use? Or something don't like do that. that. Don't do that. No do icebreaker joke. joke. Don't do a joke. Not yeah, like just be honest. Like just go yeah. be yourself. So just like I like you. No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't do that. Man. I heard eye contact supposed to be good though. So like, not with, I, mean, you're well, I don't make it working for you. Yeah. When, don't, yeah. when you talk to them, don't start doing this. You got a little bit of an intense eye contact. Yeah, yeah I gotta work on that. Go and ahead, maybe take up? the backpack off and just hey, cause. Possibly, like just like I'm. Right. I'm just if you guys asking for tips. Might be a little bit of a deterrent to the opposite sex. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, you guys have been really good at telling me what not to do. I guess. I, final thing, I gotta go, but uh, I feel like she'd be impressed if she knew I was hanging out with you guys. Okay. So, like, do you think we could do like a like a like a selfie us like an ussy kind of thing okay, together, man. and I can make it like my Facebook an profile thing? <laughs> yeah, Never heard that before. An ussy. That's funny. Text her yeah. that. All right, you guys are the best. Cool. Oh no, what happened? You gotta flip it around. Gotta, yeah, because yeah. we're gonna sideways, brother. Flip it and reverse sideways. it. Sideways. That's cool.
I feel like that's every single group photo. Like the person in the middle is taking yeah. the photo. The person on the right's like, I want to do it in landscape. The other person's like, no, let's use the other camera. The front camera's better. Yeah. And like the thing that kind of bothered me about it, I was like, you guys just take the picture. You know, stop monkeying around. Take the picture. <gasps> you don't know what he just did, but I know what he just did. And I'm going to tell you what he just did. He just segued into our next segment, which is the trailer for Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, and the trailer looks amazing. Like, I've watched it like 20 times already. Like, I'm going ape shirt over it. Oh, no, I just you can't, can't say get. That. You can't say that. We have to beat that up. If you say. I said ape shirt. Like, oh. I, I'm literally wearing an ape shirt. That's why. Yeah. You said. But you said ape shirt. I did say shirt. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Ape. Well, with that being said, why don't we take a look at a clip from the trailer of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I've seen things. I've seen the way they are. They want what we want, to survive. Caesar, home. This is your home. Your home. Are you aware they are going to turn on you? They don't want a war. No, don't shoot! Do you think? First of all, I loved the first one. Yes. This one looks equally as realistic, which right. I love. Do you think that if an ape saw this movie, they'd be like, no, that's not how we do it? Yeah, they'd be like, okay, number one, we throw turds. I didn't see not one turd throw yeah. in this movie. That's very stereotypical to say of, of them, I think. I'm in animalist yeah that sounds good i i i love that they got their hands to some chalk oh it finally. seems like there's an impending whenever any it's their war paint you know they're going yeah. to war and uh andy circus is in this and we all know him as the motion capture marlon brando right yeah uh he's smeagol in lord of the rings um he's in this clearly uh, he's playing me right now. This is actually a CGI image, and Andy Circus is in the back right now doing motion capture. And so, like, is... if I like do this, like, you're not like my hand See? goes through. See yeah. what just happened? Mm -hmm. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, it's so crazy. Yeah. So this movie is Man versus Ape. Right. But then we saw a, another movie, a huge movie this weekend, that was Man vs. Alien. Edge, Edge of, of Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It was so cool. I it love was... that movie. So I, you know me, I have low expectations for everything, yeah. so I love it when I'm blown away. Right. Absolutely blown away. Laughed really hard in this movie. Yeah. It's got they some... don't, you don't get that at all from the trailer. Right. And you get, yeah, you get some really funny parts, and I didn't have low expectations. I was like, okay, Tom Cruise sci fi, I'm in. He's going to be running. There's going to be lasers. He's going to be like, there were no lasers. Uh, uh. There were, no, there were lasers. Oh, you're right. There was a laser. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Huh? Huh? Uh? But uh, it had the formula for everything that I knew I would like. And he's super charming in the movie. He's so charming. They do, they do this thing where he's not likable. Right. Or, or is he good at fighting or anything yeah. at the beginning. And then you get to see him through this whole Groundhog Day yeah. situation get better and better and better. Yeah. Emily Blunt is great in it. Yes. I loved seeing her in this role because, like, a lot of times when I go to see action movies, it's like the woman is usually, like, kidnapped or she's, like, kind of the – she has to be rescued or right. she's a little bit of a victim. In this, Emily Blunt is totally on par with him. Yeah. And as you were saying earlier, if you put two guys in these in this role or two two girls in these roles, it would be the same movie. Right. Um, that, but it but it wouldn't but it wouldn't be because it's Emily Blunt and Tom Cruise that right. they do a great job. Right. Because the you know the romance element of it is kind of you know taken out of it. And me and you were talking about that. We're like there we is saw, no romance. Yeah. We yeah. saw Edge of Tomorrow, and then you also saw Fault of Our Stars. Yeah. And those couldn't be two more They're opposites so on the spectrum, but. We talked about it, and we're like, Tom Cruise doesn't really do these romantic roles like he that. He never like, really does. Right? Like, any movie he's in, like, is kind of like, okay, something's on fire, and then he's like, wait, I think I'm in love with someone. I can't remember. Yeah, or like, you know? uh, there's a meteorite crashing into Earth, yeah. but my wife. But, but my wife, yeah. you know? And we're like, how fun would it be if we took some old Tom Cruise movies, just took the titles, and made them skew more romantic? Like, if they were actually... We're going to give him the romance films that exactly. we think he deserves. Yeah. And we call it hashtag love cruise. But Aaron, why wouldn't we just attach a giveaway to it? Like, an Edge of Tomorrow prize pack. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, absolutely. And all you guys have to do at home is subscribe to our channel and then hashtag your very own love cruise in the comments below. Aaron, I would love it if you would give us 
your love cruise is first. Oh, I would love to give you my love cruise first. Wow, that sounded weird. I um, love that. Okay. I love uh, cruise that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and write your own hashtag love cruise. Here we go. Number one, frisky business. Okay. So it's not as high stakes as risky business. There's danger it's taken more out. Like, <laughs> it's more just like flirting and like a lot like, of touching wow. and kissing and stuff. Yeah. Born on the 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day. Which is, you know, Valentine's Day. The third one is one good man. So instead of a few good men, okay. there's only one good man. And girl, he's yours. And, and, and it's Vogue. Tom, it's Tom Cruise. Yeah. And one good man, one good man. Come on, you join it. One good, good man, man, one good, good, man. good man. What a funny, one. funny good man. Yeah. Oh, are you taking lessons? I'm taking In Vogue lessons. Well, just From the, In Vogue, just to sing like In Vogue. The vibrato on that mm -hmm. was really good. Thank you. I do a really good like. Yeah, no, that was pretty solid. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that was Kit, my earpiece. That, if you didn't know what that was. Okay, I thought you were, you were just you know you've been getting Your over infection. a cold. Yeah. yeah so, um, okay, here are my hashtag love cruises. And again, if you guys want to win, subscribe. Hashtag your own in the comments below. Here we go. Number one, eyes wide shut, heart wide open. Heart wide open. That's so also good. Also taking lessons. Well, you you're doing that Creed cover band. Yes, uh, we are called Greed. And uh, it, what we do is we show clips from the film Wall Street, and then I sing Creed songs. It's pretty solid, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a, you know, it's, it's a solid. movie. It's like what we do. It's movies. It's music. Uh, second movie title: Jack Reach Around. Now here's here's okay. You're gonna say you this. this is inappropriate, but clearly you don't know what a reach around is. I right? do know what it reach is. Reach arounds they can get messy, they can get greasy. What are you doing? Right. So here's what you do with a reach around. We're at the movies, right? No, we're I, not. We're at the movies, for sure. You've got popcorn. I want some. It's rude to go this way. I come around. I reach around you and grab some of the popcorn. And uh, final one, Dates of Thunder. Tom Cruise is a storm chaser, and he's finding love as he's chasing storms. As he's chasing, you could also do it this way. If Tom Cruise is a date farmer, and then there's a woman who's also a date farmer on the other date farm, but her husband's died, so they're in a date, date farm. T okay, tight. And medjool dates, like they just like eat medjool dates the whole time. And I don't know what those are. I mean, they're a type of date. They're probably the most medjool. How can you say dates and never not? heard of them? You've never heard of. Okay, well then clearly I won. Uh, mm. I had so many, and I just. Okay, do you guys not have a picture of me? Like, you even showed the ape shirt photo from before. That, like, I There's won a that of one. You. It's so an old sorry. photo. I'm ten. You know what? How about alt? There's an alt title. Okay. Oblivion. Don't Tom forget, Cruise is trying to find. All you have to do is subscribe. Right Intercourse was a vim You're vampire. Gonna, Intercourse was a vampire. You're win an Edge of Tomorrow prize pack. Top Gun, yeah, Power Bottom. Aaron Gibson. Yasser Lester, winner. Champion. No, you know, next week, well, me.